we have made it to Dorigo. We were going to stay at the Dangar Falls Lodge and Campground, which is right like next to Dangar Falls. Um, however, when we got there, he was he had one camping van, um, you know, one of those like high ace van type things, and nothing else. Um, but he wanted to charge us sixty dollars a night um, for our the size of our vehicle because we were going to take up apparently two spots, even though we've never taken up two spots. Um, and he was, there was no one else he, he was there. empty. That's why I've already said that. He was empty. He had, one, no other, he had one other van at the front bit. Um, but he was going to send us down the back bit for $80 a night. He wanted to charge us for the two adults plus the two dogs. And he was going to throw in Aria's normally $3, um, sorry, year, three years and up have to pay. But he was going to throw that one in for free. Um, but still charge $60 a night. Uh, so we decided no. Because $60 a night um, just wasn't worth it. Um, we were going to do four nights, I so... I that at a big four in peak holiday season with a jumping pillow and... Like, I've paid $6 a night before, but it was like peak season, either right on the lake, either full facility caravan park or... With entertainment and yeah, pools and all those things. Yeah, entertainment, yeah. Like, like uh, it was an absolutely awesome location. Like, it was really beautiful. Literally walked through a fence to Dangar Falls. Um, however, at $6 a night, we just... I just couldn't justify it. So uh, we are now at the Dorigo Showgrounds. And it's not only that we can't, like, I can justify it, like I would, I can pay it and I don't really care that much about it, but like the sheer assholeness of trying to pull that. The fact that we were. Like I don't want to stay there anyway, because I tried to pull that shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've already left a one star review on Wikicamps, that's how angry I was. Yeah, so now we're at Dorigo Showgrounds, which is, really quiet and nice it is raining kind of but um we'll use this as our base instead for the next few days we're okay with it um we are gonna have to put the dogs into the kennel here as well um for the national park stuff that we want to do um so um we'll have to organize that as well uh, which is fine that was all good yesterday um so we'll probably spend the afternoon organizing that um for what days we can we can pop them into the kennel as well so yeah, stay tuned for Dorigo. Um, there's a little bit of blue sky at the moment. I really wish we were at Dengar Falls enjoying that blue sky. <laughs> anyway, all good, all good. Just a um, bit of a downer for that one. Anyway, still gonna have an awesome time. gorgeous little town very friendly someone said it was the friendliest town and we totally agree so far yeah we just walked down the street uh, found a car park and uh, walked down to a cafe called Compon components cafe and on the walk we had like four people stop to say good morning and actually stop not just as you walk past and have a conversation compliment the dogs on their behavior and aria and stuff like that like it's never happened before yeah <laughs> so yeah it's cool um well, we'll show you some so breakfast. Now we're having yeah, breakfast at Components Cafe, which is really nice. Out the back it's, in the um, garden? Yeah, I've got a beautiful back garden area. Dog friendly, of course. Yeah, friendly people running it and stuff. Yeah, so. super friendly. Yeah. yeah. We'll show you breakfast and then we'll see what else we get up to today. Um, a lovely family that's staying at the showgrounds just near us. And 
their Insta. We'll put their Insta <laughs> in so you can check them out. Um, they, New Zealand and Victoria couple. Yeah, from New, the wife is from New Zealand. Um, they've got a couple of kids, three kids, I think, possibly. Yeah. Um, and they have dogs as well. And they offered, they've been in the area for a couple of weeks now, wow. and they have offered, sorry, it was just wowing about that window there. That's incredible. They have offered to um, look after Ali and Juicy for a couple of, well, an hour or so this morning for us to quickly duck over to the Dorigo National Park um, Skywalk and. Look at a nice view. Um, oh, oh, that looks nice. Oh, expedition truck. Oh, sorry, distraction. Expedition truck. Hey. Good. They're very camouflaged too, <laughs> their colour. Um, check out the view, the drive. Wow. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, we're going to head to quickly to um, the Skywalk. Um, I think it's called Skywalk. And the um, Crystal Shower. 400 Falls. meters. Turn left onto Dome Road. Sorry. GPS telling us where to go um, and have a look around. So we are so excited. This is definitely one of our must sees um, waterfalls, and um, to have someone take the randomly, next left onto Dome Road, randomly offer for us to um, just here yeah, slow down. Whoa! It's up hill. Sorry, Daniel's just decided to fly around the corner at who knows how far. Continue on Dome oh, Road for one and a half kilometers. Um. So cool, yeah. So we've heard we have heard about people offering the like dog sitting stuff and share dog sitting at the at van parks and whatever, but this is our first one. So um yeah, and it's such a random like it's meant to rain from sort of lunchtime on, so we're kind of like, Okay, let's make the most of the hour and quickly zip over and have a look at this place and, and uh see what we can find. So yeah, we'll show you around the Dorigo National Park. up here on the skywalk at uh, Dorigo National Park it's amazing it's so cool well above the canopy up here and just looking at everything it's amazing mm, yeah <laughs> I'm not telling you to or not <laughs> I'm here what do you reckon Amanda it's wow I don't think I've seen anything like it yeah. It's huge. Like you're right above everything. Good job, cool. National Park, so. Yeah, it's nice. Do you want us to lift you up, oh, Aria? Yeah! Big! Oh. Wow! <laughs> I barely can't see the mountains. You <laughs> can't see the mountains. <laughs> no, it must be like amazing. Fair enough. It's a drone. It's a drone's eye view, really. Yeah. Wow, what a spot. Darling, do you think it's a bit wet? We've got a gorgeous composition here. 
It's a nice vertical one. I'm shooting F8 ISO 100 at about 20 millimeters and just straight up and down. His words were epic. Oh my God, epic, but he's got to get back to it. <laughs> I think I've found the most beautiful spot in Australia. And I do not say that lightly. Like I've seen a lot of beautiful spots and this, wow, just, I don't even have words, like, look at it, look at it, I don't have words. Wow, that was epic. What do you think, Aria? Epic? No, uh, not epic. Not epic. She doesn't know what epic means, I don't think. Um, that was the best thing I've seen in as far as I can remember. Um, the not mist epic. in the trees. You can see behind me, the whole place is unreal. Um, I am so glad we persisted with our plan, even though the weather uh, is meant yeah. to rain, 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 rain. Uh, and Daniel, Daniel was really tempted to skip waterfall way because of the rain. Um, it's going to rain every day all day for the foreseeable future, but he was tempted to, to just skip it and zoop, zoop out of the weather. Um, do some big days and go north and inland or whatever to get away, but I'm so glad we persisted. So we went to the Dorigo Butcher this morning and they had beef brisket. I saw it on the sign and I was like, yes, brisket, let's do this. <laughs> but we haven't had it for a, in the van, so... No, not for ages. Yeah. So, um, Instant pot. Ah! Oh, you did not see that. But that was Ali right. jumping up and stealing some cosplay. <laughs> so people, we, people have asked us for some beetle sh shenanigans. Yes. <laughs> so we um we bought an instant pot before we left. It's a brand of like pressure cooker that's also a it's like a slow cooker and pressure cooker in one. Rice cooker and a Yeah. yeah. It's like a Thermomix but doesn't blend, I guess. And it's only like two hundred dollars instead of Two thousand dollars or whatever <laughs> yeah. they are. Anyway, uh, so yeah, beef brisket for dinner in the um, Insta Pot. So. Yeah, so it's one point one kilos Chardonnay. of brisket. Nah. And it basically, um, face. basically, I used a dryer rub that we had a brisket rub uh, and rubbed it for two hours, like left it for two hours to marinate in the rub, 
and then we Amanda put it in the instant pot with a sliced up onion and some barbecue sauces. Chicken Two barbecue sauces, <laughs> yeah. Or leftovers. And um, <laughs> some water. And a bit of water. Just and uh, yeah, then just Cooked left it. it for an hour and hour and half. 20? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. On and pressure cook. Yeah, just having it with some col- ca- um, ca- blah, 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 blah. coleslaw. I made coleslaw, <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Just cut up some cabbage and spring onion and carrots. And we make a dressing out of uh, mayonnaise and apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty healthy. It's low carb. Yeah. <laughs> Did yeah. they try it? Is it good? Better try it. Mm. Better get into it, eh? Nah, it's not good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Aria. Are you sure? <laughs> What's your favourite bit of it? The sauce? The mud cup. Your cold water. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good morning. We are on our way to Dangar Falls. Another waterfall for another day, but we have blue sky today this morning so we are um gonna hit it up while we can we are also doing and, what's and it called I got in phone. Uh, moon path forest moon drive. path moon path. path forest drive today so that's meant to take us to a few little um extra waterfalls and things that are not quite kind of the main ones um so yeah we'll see how we go we're looking forward to it we read it up last night and it looks really good so yeah we'll give it a whirl like waterfall swimming area just checking it out seeing if we can find somewhere to have some morning tea before continuing on uh, it is state forest so doggies are having a little walk around as well because they're allowed but yeah it's beautiful How nice is this? This wild cattle state forest. And check this out. We're gonna have a picnic.
we drove past this Mobong truck that we'd heard about um, to go and have lunch at the Mobong Creek picnic pit. Um, so now we've driven back here to do this um, walk. I think it was 2.5 k's, one to two hours, but it takes you around some historic um, railway things and some water holes. Um, so yeah, we're going to check it out. I feel like we're in the wilderness for sure. Yeah, I definitely feel like we're in the middle of um, the bush wilderness. Um, we did, however, just see a red belly black snake on the road. Um, we're driving back this way, so we are going to have to be on the lookout for snakes and taking it very carefully. Um, yeah, let's see what's in there. What did we just do? We walked all the way up here. Through the forest? Yeah, we did. In the... Did it start raining? Yeah, it did. Is it wet? Yes, it's wet. <laughs> and were there lots of leeches? Yeah, the one on you again. A leech. Where? Here. Oh, yeah. A leech. <laughs> leech. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So, Mummy, we saw the road before, and Mummy's gone back for the truck. It's going to meet us at the end of the walk. I just saw the road up here and I was like, bugger it. <laughs> bugger it, we'll come back up to the road since it's pouring and the leeches and the track was in crap condition, so. So we made Good it all time. Up. Hopefully that's mummy. Alright. Well, we made it back into the truck. Uh, Ari and I, yeah, just started walking down the road and luckily Amanda came flying down to pick us up, like the hero of the story that she is. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's pretty wet. It's blue sky. It's blue sky, yeah. I was like cursing the sun for ruining my photo of the waterfall like an hour ago, I reckon. Yeah. Long walk. Uh, probably don't bother. Uh, if you are gonna, if you are interested, I would definitely start from the end of it, like the creek and bridge end, the Mobon Creek bridge end of it, and walk up. And I wouldn't walk up more than like where the two creeks join together, because after that it's just pretty boring and rough and poorly maintained. Yeah, like it's. it's Fine, but it's just uh, not amazing. <laughs> oh, so, I thought it was signed down to Platypus Flats, but um, there was no further sign. The road split, and GPS was telling us to turn left to go back to Dorigo. And the other one just, looped. The other one just looked like it looped around back to where we came from originally. So. We're taking the one that looks like it takes us back to Dorigo on the GPS. Um, and we're just gonna see where we go. See where it takes us, eh? Bye bye! Pardon? Bye bye! So we took some turns, and now we're definitely not on the main tourist track. I don't know where their loop is, but they... But, um... The GPS. GPS is taking us back to Dorigo. This way. Yeah. We got three diff locks, a working winch, and 37 inch muddies, so if it all goes to poo, we can get through pretty much anything.
road has turned to a trail. Kangaroo Mountain Trail. And I was driving, uh, but it got quite steep and rocky, kind of um, side to side rocky, like a bit unbalanced. So I asked to switch out. <laughs> Which is um, okay. Because I enjoy this stuff. Yeah, I prefer to be passenger <laughs> sometimes. Um, I, just, I don't think I have enough experience in a truck with the way it sways side to side and the size of it and stuff to be able to do some of it. So, so I've dropped out back into four wheel drive gears just to descend the hill. So we're in the high range of low range, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because <laughs> we got uh, four sets of gears, we've got a splitter as well as the high range and low range. So we've got like high, 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 low. Low high, low low. <laughs> so I'm in low high to get down the hill. And I'm just cruising down into that. Yeah, we're just cruising down. So yeah, hopefully um, we'll come out to and, um, the end of it and it's no. Hopefully there's a bridge across the river because it's a pretty big river. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. We might have to turn around. We might have to turn around. Yeah, we might have to turn around and go back. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll let you know, obviously, if we come across any dramas, but some uh, unexpected full driving today. <laughs> This is why we carry a chainsaw, because we've come across a branch of a tree on the road. Uh, it does not look shallow. Well, it's normally a forward, so I'd say it's normally reasonably shallow. So we've come across a uh, river crossing, but they've had a lot of rain yeah. um, recently and currently. Um, I'm just not going to risk risk it with how fast it's going and it's just not worth the risk, but it's pretty. But we are going to turn around. into the platypus flat camping area because it was on the way just down off the road a bit and it's actually really beautiful here you do have to book you can bookings are essential because of covid but you, there's also a booked area and a free camp like a free camp unreserved 24 hour overnight stop as well in the, like in this area but there's a booked section and a non-booked um and yeah the day use area um there's barbecues and all those kinds of things as well but um at the moment because of all this rain you, you can really tell that the river is high really high really high um but it's really gorgeous here actually um national parks are no dogs which means we're not camping here um but yeah if definitely if you're in the dorigo area and you want a nice little bush setting camp by a river pop this one down um it's not far out of dorigo i think it's about 30 k's yeah out of dorigo yeah, so we hope that the bridge is open and now we have to. We're going to continue along and hope that the bridge is open, um, and the fact, and hopefully that we don't have to turn around again um, because of water. But yeah, we'll see how we go.
I look like I'm going for a hike, but I'm just walking up to the laundromat. <laughs> um, the laundromat's just like a, a five minute walk from the showgrounds in Dorigo. And um, this morning we walked up, put all three loads of washing that needed to be done, one for Ari, one for me, one for Daniel, um, in one load. And then we went to the bakery, got a few treats, went to the park, had a play, went back to the laundromat, put it in the dryer, and then went home for a little while, got, had some stuff we had to do, and now Ari and I are walking back to pick it up. Hopefully it's still there. Hello. Um, we just Back to my washing. That's right. Um, yeah, so it is. It has been raining pretty much every day. Um, so, and it's meant to rain again in like starting in about an hour's time here. So we've had a really nice morning of sunshine, but it's not enough. Not enough time to get the washing done, hung out, dried uh, before the rain starts. Um, so instead of mucking around with it, I just. Um, saved it all up for one big load and just paid but um it is seven dollars a load here seven dollars i took ten dollars worth of one dollar coins thinking five dollars because that's the most i've ever paid thinking five dollars a load for wash and then five dollars to dry nope seven dollars a load for wash and seven dollars a load for dry so i'm glad i squished it all into one load um i made the most of my seven dollars <laughs> anyway um it's not often we do it um usually i do a load every couple of days of someone's um, so we stay on top of it um, as long as we have dry weather, but we've pretty much had rain for a week on and off. Well, enough rain that it stops me being able to do the load and dry it. Anyway, Torigo is a nice little town. Quite busy here today, actually. Um, but yeah, let's go and get our washing. Hopefully it's still there. We are here at the Australian Bonsai Gallery, and it is amazing. It's, it's amazing. so special. In Aria's words, she just told John that it was awesome, like this. So, and I agree totally. Um, this is John. We'll just turn around and show. Hello, Hi, folks. John. Hello, folks. <laughs> it's raining here as usual. Yeah. How much rain have you had this year in Dorigo? We stopped counting at a one meter, yeah. and that was probably um, three weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. And we it hasn't stopped it. since. It's been pretty wet, <laughs> but that's okay because the bonsai like the rain oh, generally. Yeah. They love it, and so we're just going to show you very quickly through. And all we can do is give two thumbs up. It's an amazing place. Yeah. If um, you are on Waterfall Way, Dorigo, come organize a time to come and check it out. Yeah. It is unreal. It's give John a call. The best, honestly. And he's put so much time and effort into this. It's like unbelievable. Um, it's a lot, you know, a lifetime of work and passion. Like, his, how long have you been doing it, John? 45 years now. 45 years. And some of the trees that John has, some of the bonsais are 45 years old, which is incredible. And some are 100 years old as yeah. well. So, and these, all these trees will continue to live for hundreds of years after this as well. And after Generations John has more. finished with yeah. his time. So um, it's something yeah. that people really need to appreciate and actually come and see for themselves because yeah. there's no words, honestly. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> and he's got a beautiful house and garden as well. Yeah, even just the drive in, was, we were like, oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> So we knew we were in for a treat. So yeah. even in the rain. <laughs> even in the rain, yeah. yeah. Maybe bring some mozzie repellent. And an umbrella just and in an case. And an umbrella <laughs> just in case, because it's Dorigo. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, we'll show you a quick, give you a quick tour. Yep. hundred. So this tree. But when you go to when you go to Japan, this is just sort of, you know, hundred years old. Is that all? You know. Because they are They're much older there. Six, seven, eight, hundred, nine. I, I, I actually had a. I got a photograph of Sue and I next to a tree that was over a thousand years old. Wow. Oh, yeah. And it's had core tests done on it. So it's to confirm. Wow. Over a thousand years old. So obviously you got given this one or you bought this one no, at a certain one, age? This or? one, this one, um, this one belonged to, to Ian Hearn. He's the guy who was here yesterday, uh, today. Today, yeah. yeah. Um, and he, but he moved up, up here, but he moved to the coast. And from Adelon, and this, um, this, they don't like being on the coast. 
at all. Salty air and... It's going downhill a bit, so I swapped in one of my swamp cypress, my really old swamp cypress for it. Yeah. And since I've had it, I've changed, I've changed it a lot. Yeah. And it's extremely healthy up here in the, in the at a higher altitude. It's yeah. Just, it Loving just it. goes berserk. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I've changed yeah. it quite a bit. And um, I'll get it into a better pot. This is a, this is a Chinese pot, but I'll put it in a, a, a Japanese pot or a, or an antique Chinese pot. Yeah. When I can afford it. Yeah. They're very expensive. <laughs> yeah, I bet they yeah, are. They're just, they're just worth a fortune. Yeah. Good, good, good quality, quality pots. ones. Yeah. So tell us about this bonsai, John. This this bonsai. This is a Japanese white pine. Um, the Japanese call it Shiromatsu or um, Goyomatsu. That's its name in, ja in Japanese. I've actually named this. It, 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 it has a name. It's, not, it's Japanese name is Resuku, and it's actually a, a, an English Japanese word that means rescue. I actually rescued this tree as a just as a um, a nursery plant. Yeah, right. Over 35 years ago. Wow. And um, it was dying in a, in a nursery. Oh, and um, and I, I saw the potential in this as a bonsai. Yeah. And it took me two years to to get it out of the nurseryman. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and um, finally got it and then started to develop it as a bonsai. Yeah, right. Had to bring it back into health uh, and then start the process. Yeah. Uh, it spent two years at the. Um, at the uh, National Bonsai Collection at the Arboretum in Canberra on show. I was very proud that they wanted it down there. Absolutely. So that, was a, that was good. That uh, yeah. this this is now um, the needle needle size is, is quite small now. The shape and the negative space that this has all add to its its um, its beauty now. It's yeah. Just, it's got beautiful movement. Um, one of my favourite trees. Absolutely. And how much would you say that it's worth, John? Oh, just roughly. Yeah, well. Oh, do you want to? Do you um, want to disclose that? Maybe. No, no, that's, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Look, look. If if someone offered me forty thousand dollars for this, I wouldn't sell it. That's all I can. All yeah. I can say. That's fair enough. That's a good way to put it. It's a gorgeous tree. I tell There's you. a better angle from down here. I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the Japanese have ways that you're meant to photograph them specifically. And there are, yes, and yes, yes, yeah, and, and sort of straight on like that, at yeah. that angle is probably the best. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for your time, mate. No, it's a pleasure. Honestly, you spent, I don't know, yeah. a, far, a fair while of your time doing with us today. Oh, so. look, yeah. we get people here. I had, I had one bloke here who burst into tears. Yeah. Seriously. Wow. He said, yeah. don't, his wife was over there. He said, don't, he said, don't call my wife. That. Yeah. He's so embarrassed. Yeah. But yeah, and he spent, we spent probably three hours over here. You know, yeah, right. Just people I guess you love probably sharing your story and you're talking about it with yeah. people as well. So. It's quite yeah. a passion. Yeah. It's a yeah. passion. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then she can. All right, John has spent, I don't know, maybe an hour with us explaining and talking about all the um, different species and the stories behind all of them, the um, how he maintains them, what he needs to do next, what he's done, how old they are. He's told us the stories about all of them. Like, and he knows. I just want to say how much of a privilege it is to meet people like John, who runs the Bonsai Gallery. Um, it's really cool to be able to meet people like that. You know, it's just something that you do hours of his time just talking, talking to people, people about yeah. his passion and his love. Yeah, he has another business which is web development, um, website development, um, and he gave up three, two and a half hours of his Same. time yeah. on a Monday in his work hours basically to talk to us about bonsai, about bonsai for free <laughs> um, and spend that time with us and, and he's like, you know, we was bucketing down rain at one point so we went into his shed and just chatted and talked about our businesses and like just such a lovely man and honestly makes you appreciate that there are some amazing people in our world. It's one of the reasons that we love traveling as well is amazing people like John so thank you very much mate. We, oh, you, you've made our day. Yeah, it's a great, <laughs> great experience, thank you. Yeah. Okay, we are doing the road between Dorigo and Bellingen now. Uh, steep descent for 11 kilometers, red zones on the GPS of descents, 
um, and apparently it gets down to like one lane so we're taking it slow and we're gonna get there here we go wow oh my god it's amazing It was crazy, crazy pretty. Yeah. yeah. It's um what a way to finish in Bellingen as well, like just really nice. And uh, we had a Middle Eastern lunch and really good gelato to finish. Yeah. And had definitely. a coffee. Yeah. Second coffee of the day. <laughs> yeah. It was um such a spectacular drive. I don't understand why people don't do it as often no, as no. like you hear, like people avoid the area or something. I don't know, like but it, honestly can't. it's absolutely stunning the whole Waterfalls way Waterfalls right next to the road you know flowing under the road yeah and the whole way gorgeous. like it's just gorgeous the whole way like it's so much to see and so much to do actually that um, we yeah. filled was it five days i think oh we did yeah five we could have days easily done more we could have well. done more so could so much done. to see and do i reckon if you want to take it really slow if you want to but like a normal speed is probably four to five days the way we sort of did it. Yeah, that was it. it was comfortable. It wasn't, wasn't too much. Yeah. It's only like an hour and a half drive at the end of the day. Yeah, um, and but, um, using Bellingen as a base, I'm uh, not Bellingen, sorry, Dorigo as a base to do a few half mornings out and things like that and afternoons out and stuff. It made it really nice. It wasn't hectic. You weren't exhausted. Yeah. You could still you see could, so much. You could definitely do like three weeks, I reckon, if you wanted to really spend Just lots of time. And spend time as well. Yeah. yeah, in all the different state forests and national parks. And yeah. So I'm totally fitting in with the locals today in Bellingen. I'm um, going bare feet because my thongs had a blowout. <laughs> but <laughs> there's probably the like... The, it's the town to blow out It's the town to blow out your thongs because oh. all the hippies don't wear shoes anyway. So. We saw, I don't know, I reckon I counted about 10 people just walking around with no shoes on when probably we were eating lunch. Probably so. 30%, yeah. Yeah, so it is the town. It's the town to have a thong blowout. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. um, on to the next episode, which we don't really know what it is because we're heading towards Coffs kind of area, um, up to Byron kind of area, but we don't really know where yeah. we're going to go, what we're going to do, what we're going to stop and see. Um, we're just going to take it easy and see wing how we it. go from there and wing <laughs> it. Um, anyway, as always, subscribe, share, notification bells, likes, comments, feedback, all that stuff as well. Let us know what you think of the Waterfall Way. We'll see you in the next episode, guys. Take it easy. Bye.